I'm here with my litter of uh, 12 week old lichen shepherds and uh, we're going to continue with our uh, neurological stimulation that we do early on during the first uh, third day to the 16th day. Today is uh, day 12. Right here we've got a beautiful young male. We're going to do the tactile stimulation first for three to five seconds. We're going to rub between the toes. And then for three to five seconds, we hold the head up. For three to five seconds, we hold them upside down. And uh, three to five seconds, we hold them on their back. And then down here, we're going to do the uh, thermal test. This is a damp rag that's been put in the fridge for about 10 minutes. And we'll set them on that for three to five seconds. If they crawl off before that time, that's okay. That's the first test. Again, this is a young male pup. Second pup we got here. Great big male. Tactile test first. Hold the head up for five, uh, three to five seconds. Upside down for three to five seconds. And uh, on their back for three to five seconds. Now it's been shown that uh, there are a number of benefits to this. I'm going to put them on the here for the uh, tactile test. Got the next puppy here. Now if you've watched the first video I did, when they were uh, about five days old or so when I did this test, you'll see a difference in how the puppies are acting from that. And that's because uh, after uh, over a week of doing this, they've gotten used to this type of stress. And it's been shown uh, there are uh, numerous benefits later on in life from doing this. The dogs are uh, stronger cardiovascularly. They have stronger adrenal glands. Less stressed by uh, things in their environment. And when uh, tested in a maze, compared to their uh, non-stimulated litter mates, they were found to be uh, dominant over them in those situations and uh, much uh, less rattled by being stressed. And I'll have uh, information regarding that in the uh, video description if you want to learn more. Again, this was done by the U.S. military, their biosensor program, which was later called the Super Dog Program. I've done it uh, for probably uh, a dozen years or so, and uh, I've seen nothing but positive results regarding it. But don't take my word for it, I'm just some guy on YouTube. Do your research. Here we go, this is the uh, little guy of the litter. Uh, he's the first one to have his eyes fully open. Can you see his eyes, Tim? Are they open right now? Yeah. Five 
probably for three to five seconds. works is it's uh, introducing these puppies to uh, stimulation and stress that they wouldn't normally see this early in life which uh, is stimulating new neural pathways to be built uh, within their brain and formed earlier than would be expected and again this has uh, lasting positive effects on them and you can even see if you look at them now compared to when I filmed this uh, about a week or so back with them that uh, they really handle this a lot better they're a lot less stressed by it again there's a certain window between the third and sixteenth day that uh, is a really good time to do this here's another little little male looks like his eyes are starting to open up a little bit too some asking which was the puppy I saved. Let me find him and I'll show him to you. Yeah, this is him. So this is that little puppy that I uh, saved when they were being born. I had people asking uh, which one he was. This is him. It's cute, yeah. Again, it's a uh, Really nice looking litter. I'm very happy. This is our uh, F2 generation of Lycan Shepherds. Again, the breed is uh, still in development. This isn't the finished product. It's a foundation breeding to get there. But uh, very happy with them so far. That's all. I hope you enjoyed it. There'll be uh, plenty more updates. Like, subscribe, and share.